Introduction to Self-Study of Clinical Looking Glass. For deeper understanding of cohorts and cohort building, read Riddles in Accountable Healthcare by Aron Bellin, available on Amazon in both paperback and Kindle. Pathway to Clinical Looking Glass Use. Before training, all users would complete the required forms. Instructions are available through our box account. Medical students will complete the city course in research. The following material should be reviewed. The book, Riddles in Accountable Healthcare, a primer to develop analytic intuition for medical homes and population health, is useful to help you understand how to think about problems of cohort design and study design. It's available on Amazon as a paperback or a Kindle. Suggested reading, chapters 1, 3, 4, 5, 8, 11, 19, 21. The chapters are short and a quick read. The book is $22 per copy, and you usually get the internet Kindle version free with it. So you can share a copy in the internet version with a friend. JC07.1, Appropriate Use of Clinical Looking Glass. This is Montefiore's policy and procedure on the use of clinical looking glass. Please read the entire policy and also note instructions for registering QI projects on page two. QI projects must be registered in advance through IRIS. And that's mentioned in page two. JC07.1a, Practical Guidance in the Use of Clinical Looking Glass, also Montefiore Policy and Procedure. Read Chapter 1 of the Self-Study Syllabus, The Cohort Paradigm, pages 1 through 15. There is an encryption expectation. All users must acquire an encryption program. A reasonable choice is Secure IT, available from CypherX. It costs $29.95, but you can get a 50% discount if you're a student or part of a not-for-profit. The encryption is HIPAA compliant. The software intercalates in the Windows Explorer program, allowing the user to encrypt and to shred files. Files should never be deleted. They should be shredded using Secure IT. Deleted files can be recovered but shredded files are more resistant to recovery. Encryption is expected to be used on all limited and identified data sets exported from CLG. No limited data set nor identified data set is to be stored in any electronic media, example, a flash drive, laptop, cloud storage, etc., without encryption. Mac users are not supported by CLG at present. Encryption of Mac hard drive is recommended through native Mac encryption technology. All trainees will take and pass the CLG appropriate use exam based upon a thorough understanding of JC07.1A. The test will be assigned to you in Montefiore Talent Management prior to your obtaining access to CLG. Passing is 100% and you are allowed to take it as many times as you would like. Resources for training. We have YouTube videos that are constantly updated. To find the YouTube playlist, go to Google and search using the following terms, Iran Bellin, Playlist, Clinical Looking Glass, and it will take you to the playlist with all the relevant videos. I'll show you that in a moment. We have self-training guides and class training materials. They're available at this box address. Since you all have a box account, you should be able to access this directly. We have written manuals, also available to you through your box account. The available videos in CLG. You type in to Google Iran Bellin Playlist Clinical Looking Glass, and what comes back very quickly is Iran Bellin YouTube. You click on this, it opens up my playlist, and now you see Clinical Looking Glass Tutorial, The Cohort Paradigm. 
all you do is you click on this and it will open up the series of videos starting with the first one. We have class training materials. Go to this address and box and you'll see all the individual class manuals that we use in our training. What you may see now may be different because we update this on a regular basis. The self-training guides include the cohort paradigm, the study designer, in-class problem, discovery of side effects using study designer, and special topics. We have the available manuals for Looking Glass, and here you have them. The most important ones, I believe, is the CLG User Manual Working Version. This is the most complete summary of the functionality of Looking Glass. Some of these other ones are more dated. The ad hoc reports no longer exist, but they give you some important background information on geocoding. The Event Definition Manual is an interesting manual that gives you some description of some of the different events types that are in Looking Glass, but this has been superseded by an online search capability that you can actually find later later on in a later YouTube video under search. Everyone must take a basic competency exam. Within two months of account activation, all users must pass the basic competency exam. The passing grade is 100%. You are allowed to take it as many times as you like. You can exit the test and return to where you left off. And you are allowed to ask your colleagues to critique your wrong solutions. Just don't ask them to give you the answer. CLG is a collaborative environment, and we want to encourage constructive collaboration. In preparation for this class, we expect you also to view my YouTube channel, Iran Bellin's YouTube channel, and there are two YouTube videos which you'll find useful. The Cohort Paradigm, which I'll click into now, the Cohort Paradigm, and Anatomy of a Simple Cohort. Anatomy of a Simple Cohort. After you've seen these two, you'll have a better understanding of the first 15 pages of the manual on the Cohort Paradigm. What follows will be videos to accompany the Cohort Paradigm Self-Study Manual. You will learn how to build a diabetic cohort. You will then build a diabetic cohort was ultimately brought to bad control or ultimately to good control using the within temporal operator. You will develop index event line intuition using the browse function and you will learn to build a CHF cohort using a diagnostic set.